This is kind of awkward. I know you're gonna dig this. Remember when I said I was gonna do a whole week of squad builders, and then I didn't upload on one day, and then I uploaded the next day, and then I didn't upload yesterday? Yeah. Sorry. Well, if you watched the middle video, you would have known that I was sick on the first day, and I couldn't have uploaded it, I just did not feel well. That day, I didn't feel great either, but I still uploaded, and then the next day, which was yesterday, I felt bad again. So, I'm uploading this video today, yeah! Fuck me! So basically what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna like upload until Thursday to make it a whole week, technically, of videos that have been up on my channel about Squabblers. So, we've got three more left to do, including this one. So, yeah, two after this. What? Mats, man, mats. So today we have an 80,000 coin Squabbler. Boys, I only have about 150 coins on my account anyway, so this is nearly, well, fucking hell actually. Why do I only have 150,000 coins? So yeah, I kinda gotta get inventive with these things now. Doesn't matter, we will get through it. Anyways, let's get on to the Squabbler. So in goal we have one of them German goalkeepers. I think this is his first in form, but he got an upgrade, so this is an 81 rated card. It is a sick card, he's got all 80s, he's 6 foot 4, so he's really tall, 4 star weak foot, which is a rarity in goalkeepers. It's Timo Horn's in form card, he's a great goalkeeper in this game. In defence then, we have one upgraded card, and we have literally the best player in this game. On the right is Langkamp from Hertha Berlin, and we have his Hertha Berlin teammate, John Anthony Brooks. Hence, the best player in the game, just because he has my second name, basically. He's actually, this is his second I Man in the Match card. Great fucking centre back, boys, honestly. The other thing about his normal card was that he was a bit too weak. This card, no, he's not at all. And then we got Langkamp, who was actually a fantastic centre back, man. Two of these guys are absolute rocks. I was going to say gems, but rocks is the better word. At fullback then, we have Demarcus Beasley on the left, and we have Stefan Licksteiner on the right. Licksteiner used him loads of times, fantastic right back. And then we have Demarcus Beasley, really solid stats for a left back, for a 71 rated left back. He's there for chemistry, obviously, he's a great left back, he used to play for Rangers and all them. He used to be fucking rapping. One of the fastest players in the world at the time. Not so much anymore, but he's still a solid left back. The midfield then, we have Michael Bradley in the middle centre mid position on high high. Great player to have there. We have Ignacio Piatti's in form on the left cam position and on the right cam position we have Sebastian Giovinco. Now Giovinco great freaking card, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, 90 odd pace, 77 passing or shooting and 79 passing. Great freaking card boys. Piatti's card, fantastic. He has a second in form left mid version so if you wanted to use that you probably could. You'd have to work away around chemistry otherwise but um, yeah great cards, great midfield. Bradley is a fantastic holding midfielder in that, and he bombs up and down the field, so he's perfect for this kind of formation. Now, the wings is where it gets personally exciting for me. We've got Juan Cuadrado on the right, one of my favourite players in this game, and has been through the whole of FIFA. And we have a second in form, Kakuta Mane, or Mani, or something like that, on the left mid position. He's from Gambia, from Vancouver. His card is incredible he's got like 90 odd shot power he has four star skills he is incredible on this game for his second informed silver card once they fix this chemistry glitch he will fucking rip people to shreds and then quadrado on the right is just incredible if you've ever used quadrado you know how good he is and then up top to complete the team this wouldn't be an mls hybrid if there was no obafemi martins but there is an obafemi martins he's got four star skills and five star weak foot so we can score with the right and the left dribble past people run past people strength off people he is one of the most all-round strikers I have used on this game and he completes this team perfectly as you can see on the screen guys there is the, the squad this is the first time I've used the five the four five one and um, if you're not this good at this game I would definitely recommend to have all your defensive line and the center midfielder to stay back while attacking and uh, if you're good at this game use this team as a counter-attacking possession based team it's incredible guys let's get on to the clips so guys as we get on to clips of this team this guy I'm playing here, right, he beats me in the end with a 90th minute corner. He starts messaging me saying, ha ha ha, you're shit, you're playing on ultra defensive, which I fucking wasn't. I never play on ultra defensive, I never even play on defensive. And then he, I say, yo, smile for YouTube. And then he says, don't come at me with your 31 subscribers or whatever it is. And then I say over 7,000, he finds my channel, comes back to me and says, oh my god, I'm so sorry, mate, uh, that disability video and stuff like that. He, like, obviously he could feel bad for me about the disability video, but... I don't think it's that. I, it's sub count, man. Do not ever let sub count change your opinion of someone. Unless it's about their YouTube content. Never, ever let a number dictate how you think of someone. I could be a fucking prick in real life, and you guys would not know if you thought my sub count made me a better person than you. If that makes any sense. I'm not saying that that's what you think. I'm just saying that that's what some people think. And it really frustrates me. Just because someone has more subs than someone else does not make them a better person. PewDiePie. Fucking Markiplier, okay, so all these people are not better people because they have more subs. They might 
make more money. They might have more people watching their videos. It does not make them a better person. They could be absolute dickheads in real life. You know what I mean? Do not let a sub count dictate how you think of someone. Anyways, enough of that bullshit. This team, Giovinco. I love this guy's card. Giovinco, man, is fucking incredible. Uh, my good mate, Marky IV, has used him since the start of FIFA, and he's oh, he's just always raving about him. I've never gotten around to use him, and now I realise what he's on about. He is incredible in this game. Maybe not as a striker, and I think the fact that he comes out with packs as a centre forward is actually one of his best positions. If you played him in the 4 3 3 5 as centre forward, he would be incredible. Now, uh, Martin's up top. Uh, he didn't start scoring until like the last two matches or something like that. Uh, I have to cut out a load of goals because in the last game I scored like nine goals on the poor side. Um, yeah, the rest of the midfield, you got Piatti on the left camp position. Actually really solid. I really, really like that guy's card. I hated him last year. If you're an OG, you will know I hated him last year. Uh, Michael Bradley's card, great holder midfielder. You've got um, Manny on the left who is fantastic. Really like that guy's card. Quadrado, enough said about him, man. I absolutely love him that card and the fact that he's not part of the chemistry glitch he is always on 10 chem if you play him at the right position you know what i mean he is fantastic uh you got the defense john anthony brooks go on the brooks fam uh he's incredible he really is a solid defender lang camp i was really surprised for him i was expecting him to be one of these meh center backs but he was so solid the thing about him is that you could have any a hyperlink in goalkeeper and center back from the Bundesliga and you still get chemistry So you could do that if you want I just put them there because I haven't used them before and then you got the fullbacks fullbacks don't really matter But Demarcus Beasley and Lichsteiner are very good fullbacks at that goalkeeper Fantastic in a uh, team horn. Anyways guys. Thank you so much for watching this video If you can learn anything from this video today never let uh, uh, Fictional thing. I don't even know dictate someone I'd uh, uh, boy. <laughs>